Hello, this is Nicole Cross and Edward Shockey from Aztecs Talk, bringing you a recap of the Syracuse game on the midway and a preview of tonight's game versus San Diego Christian. Yes Nicole, how about we start with the game against the Orange? Well Edward, it was a tough matchup. Syracuse was very tall and long. The sun was shining brightly and the wind was breezy with occasional gusts. It was so strange seeing water and everything else in the backdrop as the guys played and shots were thrown up. I don't know how they manage it. It sucked, Nicole. Anything else to add, Edward? Not only was it a tough matchup, but it was a brutal way to open the season. The Aztecs get rolled and now have to find their confidence again. SDSU played very poorly, though. My biggest concern was rebounding, but the Aztecs really held their own. They shot like the three blind mice at the free throw line. Very ugly. The Aztecs also struggled shooting period, but that was always a possibility given these conditions and the way we like to shoot from the outside. Do you have any other lasting comments in the aftermath? Yes, please coach Fisher. Never schedule a regular season game on a carrier again. It was uglier than my great-grandmother's feet and she's been dead 20 years. Ahem. Anything else of note, Edward? Frankly, I'm shocked by the reaction of the fans after the loss. Many people are being critical of the Aztec star shooting guard, one Mr. Franklin. People have called him selfish, immature, a punk, and all sorts of other remarks. I understand fans need to vent, but fans also need to be respectful of student-athletes. True, they are not professionals. There is no reason for fans to personally, publicly attack student-athletes. Fans are fans, I don't want to take away their passion or enthusiasm. But the mentality of those who attack others like professional athletes, actors, and musicians shouldn't apply. These guys attend our school. They work hard in the classroom. They try and become the best players they can. People should criticize, but do it with class not like a Philly fan. Well said Edward. On that note, let's say we move on to preview the game against San Diego Christian. They are going to get bounced like that ape dude from Phoenix Suns games that jumps off the trampoline to dunk. Ahem. Anything more to add, Edward? Well, they lost their opener coming off a losing season last year. Their backcourt averages six feet in height, so expect our guards to go bananas on them. Their starting small forward is their only Division I transfer and he is one of the few guys that will challenge our defenders. They do have a 6'10 center, but I don't expect much trouble from him. This is a great opportunity for the Aztecs to be very aggressive on defense, force turnovers, and win big. The Aztecs need to find a rhythm in multiple personnel packages running the transition game. They did not look comfortable against Syracuse, and 40 minutes of running will help. Free throws are another thing we need to see improved. Guys have to get comfortable at the stripe, and home cooking and a big lead should settle the nerves. Excellent points Edward. Thank you folks for watching our preview, we will see you next time. Go Aztecs!